So, hey everyone. Have you ever seen this meme on Facebook? Because I've seen it a lot. So, how rich people get rich, according to rich people? A can-do attitude? Hard work? And gumption? Whatever the heck gumption is. <laughs> Nobody really knows, but that's supposedly how rich people think they get rich. But how the rich people actually get rich, according to this meme. Merciless exploitation of the working class and the birth lottery. Now, doesn't that sound absolutely terrible? The only people who can be rich have to be born rich, so there's no self-made millionaires or billionaires in the world. You don't get paid for eight hours work. You get paid for eight hours working. This guy's got like 80% of a profit, and this poor worker, look, she's skinny and starved. This guy, he's obviously doing all right. He's getting 80% of all this profit. This was from socialistworker.org. Exploitation. All workers create more value at work than they receive in wages. The extra surplus value goes into the pockets of the bosses. Now, this is terrible. So you've got all these poor little workers working away in the god-awful factory. The only people benefiting are rich fat cats sitting upstairs, smoking cigars, probably overweight. Can we please stop using this ridiculous stereotype that's over 100 years old that capitalists and rich people are fat? Because it's just ridiculous, and clearly, you've got to update once in 100 years at least, guys. Libertarian logic. Look, the tax is so tiny here. It, it must be what? Maybe 5% of um, the total income? Then the person's income, this is how much the person will be paid. And this is the surplus value extracted from all that labour. So again, this looks horrendous. It looks like, again, 75% of all the money that you generate is going into this big black hole. The value of the labour, the labour power up here, it's only about a quarter. So there's like, the capitalist share is 75%. So guys, um, let's jump into a bit of a critique of this type of thinking. Look at this one. The capitalist share is 75%, right? So what do we think the reality is? Okay. Data taken from the Office of National Statistics demonstrates that the average profit margin for UK companies during the second quarter of 2018 was 12.7%. This doesn't really seem like a sort of 75% type situation. 15.7% for manufacturing companies, 17.2% for companies that provide services. Now, of course, out of this profit, you've got to pay the people who initially invested the money and all the shareholders. You've also got to put money away to invest in the future. There's a lot of random costs that come up when you're running a business. So, Secondly, let's look up some of where the money goes. So you might think that a company would generate money and all that money would go to the workers. But actually, there's a lot of costs involved with running a company. So professional fees. Lawyers, accountants, solicitors, insurance. You've got to have um, insurance for your employees on the equipment, on products, premises costs. So this is a big one. You've got to actually have a place for your workers to do the work. Staffing and employment, equipment and supplies. Again, you've got to provide people with um, computers, for example, desks, all kinds of other costs. Stock, so if you're selling stuff, you need stock in the company, which again costs a load of money. Marketing and sales. Finance, which again, if you're borrowing money in the company, you're going to have to pay interest and stuff on that. Technology costs, which can be, again, pretty huge. You're looking at your um, accounting software and your pipeline softwares and things. And you've also got to comply with all the laws, etc., which again is quite expensive. So I thought we could also take a look at this. The true costs of hiring in the UK. You're looking at recruitment costs initially. It's about £3,000. Now, this you've got to pay typically a lot of um, agencies and stuff, and it, it can be quite expensive to um, hire new people. You've got to actually find them. Salary, an average salary of about 
thousand pounds a year now obviously lower paid workers are paid significantly less than um this um lower paid workers might be paid say 14 to 16 thousand pounds a year um at minimum wage full time but nevertheless the average cost is about 27 bonuses of a thousand six hundred national insurance contributions so the company actually has to pay national insurance and things on top of um, people's wages and they've also got to pay various taxes and whatnot pensions so we're looking at 828 pounds a year training over a thousand pounds for training a lot of companies spend a lot of money on training it really depends on how highly trained you want your staff office space and equipment that's looking at 4,800. Again, if you're going to get your own employee their own laptop or whatever. Other costs. So stuff like HR costs, um, holiday cover, um, maternity leave, sick days, company cars, software licenses and more. So you're looking at about eight grand a year. If you're employing somebody on the average wage of about 27, then you're looking closer to £50,000 in the first year of employment to actually employ someone. This is before they've even done any work. These are pretty much fixed costs and you can't really get around these. You know, this idea that the, you know, working class, the working people are mercilessly exploited. I just don't buy it, you know? Another argument I hear a lot is if someone puts in, for example, a million pounds to start a company, if they haven't contributed anything. Well, personally, I think investing a million pounds to start up a company or to build a restaurant is a massive contribution. And the person doing that probably wants a return on their money because they're not doing it out of the goodness of their heart. They're doing it because they want to see a return. Anyway, I wanted to make this video for a long time, guys. So um, thank you very much for sort of indulging me. Let me know what you think, uh, like, comment, subscribe, etc. And you know, next time someone starts sharing these crazy memes, just point them to this video, you know, I'd appreciate that.